Welcome back to Star Trek Online Academy with old Bob 10025. On our last episode, we looked at the real stats of a starship. You know, basically just a quick thing here. This doesn't show you when you're in space, you can only look at your real stats. When you are in the space dock, you can't do anything about it. This is uh, um, to show you the aspects of a game itself that no one actually teaches you or cryptic doesn't teach you in their normal in their normal like um, generalization of the game itself. So we're going to show you how the map system works and also transwarp. So first we're going to get out of system. So you're in system, you check your stats, you got your build already. Now what? How do you get out of system? You click depart system and then you go ahead and go, okay, go leave system. It's going to show you it's going to get you out into the in the area map of the beta quadrant. Beta quadrants where Sol, Vulcan is and everything else. So let's get there right now. So we're in the beta quadrant. Now what? Now, when you have missions, when you have like episodes, I'll get into episode like later on basically, but when you have your your episode you're ready to go ahead and do, you got to hit M. Hit M to go figure out the map. Okay, M is obviously going to be a map button. So map. So now we're in the area map. The area map is going to show you all different sectors. Now, remember, it's very important to actually know the sector and then the system itself. So when you get certain types of missions like, um, let's see here. I don't have any there. Uh, probably this one here. It's gonna it's gonna tell you the beta quadrant and travel to the Jolene sphere to attend a conference. Now there's other missions out there. Say breaking the wall. It's gonna tell you. Let's see here. Temple of the people. God, I can't even find find one right now. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Surface tension. Nope. Okay. Boy, this is embarrassing. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Okay. Midnight. Here we go. Travel to the Kenya. Kayana system, which is located in the Delta Quadrant. It's going to tell you the system, and then the quadrant. Now, the quadrant is going to be this area map, the whole big thing. Now, the system is going to be the system itself. So, in order to find that out, you need to go to the galaxy map, and then, let's zoom out here, Delta, Beta, Alpha. Alpha is going to be in yellow, and then blue is for Beta, and then uh, kind of like a purple for, for the Delta. Now, it's said to go to the, go to a certain system, Kotaba sector, and then they go to like to a Kabali or new or new Talak. So in order to get there, certain types of ways to get to Delta Quadrant, which is Trans Warp, or actually go through the through the Dyson Sphere gateways, go through there, and then it's gonna transport you into the Dyson Sphere, the Jolene Dyson Sphere here. So that's another way to get to Delta Quadrant, or you could Trans Warp. I'll get in Trans Warp in just a second here. So we're in the, we're in the Beta Quadrant now. If I need to go to Deep Space Nine, which is over here. I need to actually get to the sector. How do you do that? And what you do is this. You go to area map. You And then on every side is going to have these little arrows. You click on the arrows. It's going to show you alpha quadrant. Every side is going to have that. Well, I mean, generally the sides here. They used to have it like where you can only go to certain systems. But it's much better now for the map. It's one big map. But now, okay, so we're going to go to the alpha quadrant. We need to go here. There's two different ways. Either go to trans warp I'll show you that in a second and then also go to the alpha quadrant so I'm gonna turn it I'm gonna click that click it and then as I say are you sure you say yes and it's gonna turn you around and give you the go to alpha quadrant we're gonna appear in the other side of the alpha quadrant right next to the beta quadrant so we hit map once again There's two different ways to go go through this now if I want to go to say uh, let's go to where they have the trill sector and then the systems within those. So if I want to go to say Starbase 621, now actually let's go to Mizar like system. So I click that once, I click OK, or go to system list, go to Mizar. So look down to Mizar system. Um, right, right here, I can just click it twice and boom, it's going to automatically set me to go to that system itself. Don't have to worry about it. I'm there, cool. And I have a straight course going there. Now, I could go quicker if I hit the quantum slipstream drive. You won't get this until probably about level 40. So I click that, it makes it go a lot quicker. So going quicker there. If you see the map here, on the area map here, it's showing me going really, really quick. And there I am right there, going really quick. That's kind of like a trans warp, super warp drive, um, you know, that kind of stuff. So I'm in the Mizar sector. That's what it just said. So remember, when you go ahead and do your missions, it's going to say, my, it's going to say sector and then system. Always remember that. Okay, so now I'm going to get close. And I'm going to stop here. Now, a lot of times what's going to happen is you're not going to... It's not going to automatically sit there and, and say you want to go to whatever system you want to do. You have to check out the planets. So, let's check out the planets here. 
it's going to put you within generally it's going to put you within a certain amount of uh, like a like a two kilometer or 1.6 kilometer type, type thing so I need to go to Mizar which is 1.62 go here and then it'll pop up well if if there's something to do here if there's a mission to do here but there isn't a patrol or anything else to do it's just a um, system you can go and hang out at which generally a lot of people do trust me so we know how to get to the system. We know how to get to different areas and different maps. Let's go to Trans Warp now. Trans Warp Destinations is kind of like a wormhole uh, from start from Stargate to the different types of systems that are out there. Once you gain levels, once you actually um, join a fleet, they have um, like a, a fleet research lab system. I can go there. The, the Dyson Sphere, the fleet starbase system, I can go there as well. Just depending where I want to go. When you do certain missions, we do certain missions, sorry, that's my cat there. Do certain missions, you go to, to um, Starbase 39, or when you go check out the system. Soul system is obviously going to be the, for the Federation. Um, D Space 9, Defra system. Once And then also, once you gain any levels, you'll gain you gain these as well. So, so I want to go back to Soul system, or let's say I don't want to, I want to stick around in the Alpha Quadrant and kind of just hang around here and kind of just, just do stuff and just play cards out here or her study this stole study the Mizar system sun so what we're gonna do is this if you need to go to your bank exchange or do anything else you need to click this which is gonna be the call trade freighter now in order to get your call trade freighter you go ahead and go to your available skills we we put this I think on the fourth or fifth fourth or fifth um, episode we put that in there so this is for your skills to drag the tray which is called call freighter which is going to look like this summon freighter only usable in sector space which is what you're at now so basically with this one allows you to do the mail the bank the vendor and the exchange access for five minutes so this is kind of like a bank in space yeah a portable bank portable exchange to go do anything you want to go ahead and you know put your stuff in a bank you have too much stuff in your in your um, in your stuff here you go ahead and Pop it in your bank there. So I'm going to go call the freighter real quick. Let's go do that. Let me lock my tray first. Call the freighter, and it takes. It has a one hour one hour charge. So I'm going to. The so freighter pops in. Talk to SS Azura. I want to. I want to go to my mail. So I go do any type of mail I want to do, or I could talk to him again and do my bank. Go to bank here. So I go to my bank and say, hey, I'm going to do my account. Whatever you want to do. And this is kind of like your portable bank, portable exchange. Um, you can go to exchange if you want to. I'll explain the exchange like later on too, but that's a whole nother story. So I've got that going. Now, uh, say I want to go back to Soul System. And Soul System, I just go ahead and click this. Now, when you first begin, you will have the Soul System, so you don't have to worry about it. But then, like I said, in levels and when you do certain things, you'll get more transwarp destinations. All you got to do is click Soul System or Space Dock. You don't have to click. You don't have to click this in order to go ahead and have a go. It's going to do it automatically. So Soul System Transwarp. Transwarp you back all the way to Soul System. It takes a little bit to go. And generally, this is how the map system works. Um, remember, remember to always know that um, use a system map, use an area map, use a galaxy map, and remember sector space is where the planet is and then the system is where the it, a sector place is the sector which is in the system is the system you need to go to don't don't get confused on, on those two a lot of people do so anyways i really appreciate you watching my youtube videos i know you can watch other youtubers and i appreciate you watching mine and definitely this is a series of, of videos i will be making uh, for the new players and for the vets alike in case you don't know certain things i know i learn stuff every single day that i play this game so I really appreciate you watching. Thank you for watching. And remember, you are what makes this game great. Target. Okay.